Knights in arms, cursed necromancers, elven folk, and all other mystical beings. This is Realms of Magic. And I am your realm lord. For those of you absent last Friday night, you missed an epic game and have no life. With that being said, let us begin. Huzzah! Huzzah! So, Tim, that's a very nice shirt. Did thou get it at BronyCon last weekend? Still not talking, I see. Well, any news, my good men? Randy the Elf Slayer. Well, Realm Lord, I had kind of a mixed week. I got diagnosed with what the common folk call type 1 diabetes, but on the plus side, I set a new record in Call of Duty for teabagging the most noobs. Aren't most of those players on that game like 10 years old? My lord, you would have been so proud to call me your squire. I was all like, yeah, get down, suck on my big hairy- Randy! Why? Any other news, preferably not involving teabagging 10 year olds online? Well, I wasn't going to say anything, but I had a pretty epic night on Saturday. Oh, really, Howard? What did you do? Did you, like, rewatch the Hobbit trilogy? Nope. I went to go see Fifty Shades of Magic Mike. You what? Now hear me out, guys. Dear God, man, have you no shame? First, the Justin Bieber concert to, quote, score some punani, and now this. Whoa, hey now. Yeah, the girls at that concert were a lot younger than I predicted, but I do not regret going to that concert. The Beebs is the artist of his generation. I'm utterly speechless. Utterly, my lord. Anyway, this was different. Think about it. Going to the theater to watch some sensual chick flick like Fifty Shades is the perfect place to pick up women. Wow, I guess I never thought of that before. Oh yeah. The women going to see that movie are practically begging for it. What's it? Yeah, you know, my, uh, penis. What? Oh my god. Did you, like, did you, uh, did you talk to her? Or did you, like, get her number? Or did you, like, hold hands? Or did you, did you say hi? No. <sighs> it was just so dark, and, and I spilled some slushy on myself. Damn it, Howard. And, and then I kind of got lost in the movie. You what? Well, yeah, I would say it's like the new Twilight. Well, come on, guys. I have to go back and see it again. This time, I'll need a wingman. Howard, there's no way a group of grown men are going to go with you to I'll go. go. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> you sure you don't want to come? I've never been more sure in my life. Fine. You're lost. More for us. <laughs> oh, goody, Paul's here. Hello, boys. I brought some snacks for you. No, that's not Paul. I baked you a few. Grandma, I told you not to bother me. My friends are over. But I thought you thought wrong. Be gone, sea hag. Oh. My apologies, my good man. She can be a real wench sometimes. Can't wait till the day I get to commit her to a home. Anyways, shall we begin? Where the hell is Paul? 
Uh, Realm Lord? Yes, Elf Slayer. Paul's not here. Yes, I can see that, Randy. Hence the question, where is he? He's, uh, he's... Dear God, man, spit it out! He had to pick up his girlfriend. Whoa! Steady, man. Does he mean to bring this she-devil here? I believe so, my lord. Well, never before has a female entered this sacred arena. And I'll be damned if this fated knight shall be the first. What, what will you do, a oh, wise and powerful realm lord? Yeah, what are you gonna do? Hush, fools! We'll simply turn her away like a leper. And knowing Paul, it shouldn't be too hard because she probably looks like a... Hyrulean Koron! <laughs> 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 Realm Lord, Lord, your sense of humor is the greatest in all of the land. I know! <laughs> Silence, brothers. Now, whatever beast walks through that door, we will hold our ground and forbid its entrance. She shall not pass! Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Oh, um, guys? This is Tina. Tina, these are the guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, her yoga class ran late, so I didn't think you'd mind if she came. <laughs> guys? Fine, Paul. Take a seat. Excuse me, guys. So, Tina, is it? Yes. You like yoga, huh? Yeah, I've been doing it for years. I do it down at Flex Fitness. It's great. It's actually where I met Paul. <laughs> you do yoga, Paul? Uh-huh. Lame! <laughs> <laughs> another, another classic jest, my lord. <laughs> Well, I think it's sexy. Plus, you've gotten so flexible. Come on now. <laughs> you know, Tina, I too appreciate the advantages of being flexible. I myself have studied another ancient practice from ancient India. Have you heard of the Kama Sutra? Yep. The study of sex. Yeah, I, I know what it is. Wow. It's, it's really... Wow. That's... What she said. Magnificent. Okay, can we begin, please? Yeah. I'm gonna head back to my place, but I'll see you there later. No, no, come on, you're Scott here. Stay. Get to know the guys. Please. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, you mind if Tina jumps in the game? I um. It would... I don't want to intrude on your guys' game. No, she'd be perfect as the elf maiden L'Oreal. Right, guys? Yes, oh my yeah. god, absolutely yeah. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. With your long blonde hair and your soft skin and your beautiful... Randy, that's enough. Now let's um put it to a vote, shall we? All those against. All those in favor. Okay, <laughs> Tina, you're in. Welcome. Uh, Paul, because you were late, you will be um, gob the fecal fright. What? Gob? His only power is hurling poop at people. There's plenty of other characters in there. Gob it is. Congratulations. Okay, Randy. You are walking through the blood woods of Hothmagazor Kabon when you stumble upon the Cave of Evil Dark Despair. You're approaching the entrance to the cave when suddenly, out of the darkness, what should appear? A cave troll! Okay, Randy, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Randy, you can do this. Ugh, dang it! Snake eyes! Well, the gods do not smile upon thee tonight, Elf Slayer. The cave troll tosses you aside with a ferocious roar. Who's that? Hmm? Oh, that's Tim. Uh, are you alright, Tim? Oh, he's <gasps> fine. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Yeah, he's always been like this since the Two Towers. 
Oh my god, 9-11? No, the Two Towers, the second Lord of the Rings movie. It's a real shame. I never even saw the third film. Oh, I see. So, what do all of you guys do? You mean when we're not romancing the ladies? Shut, Shut up, up, Howard! What? We own and run a game shop together. Yes, I'm surprised Paul hasn't told you about the shop. He is a co-owner. I didn't know, but that's super cool. What, like video games? No, uh, board games. Oh, do people still play board games? <laughs> <laughs> do people still play board games? <laughs> Don't get out much, do you, Tina? <laughs> hey, man, just loosen up, okay? I, I didn't mean to offend anyone. No offense taken, okay? Just use your brain next time. Dude, come on. Seriously, what is up with you, man? Nothing's up with me, man. You know, I used to love Candyland. It was my favorite game when I was a little girl. I used to play it a lot with my Grammy before she died in a horrible... Candyland? Tina, Tina, Tina. It's low-grade crap like Candyland that gives board game enthusiasts like ourselves a bad reputation. It lacks a certain pizzazz, or the need for any real skill. Any simpleton can take a card and move into the candy castle. But this game, the one you see before you, is a work of art. It takes intelligence, imagination, bravery, balls to win at this game. 17 years ago, when we were in junior high, the five of us created Realms of Magic. And one day, it will take us to the top of the fantasy roleplay board game world. Huzzah! Huzzah! Now, your boyfriend, Paul, just needs to get his head on straight, forget about this whole law school thing, get back to what matters most, making this game a reality worldwide. Oh, come on, guys. I'm still around to help out with the store on the weekends. I just need to move on. with things. I, um, think it's my turn. Time to show this cave troll what's up. Boom! Ah, a three and a two. Howard, you take your sword and thrust it into the mighty cave troll, defeating the beast in one fatal blow. <clears throat> Move three spaces and collect your rune stone. What's that? What's what? What's a rune stone? Don't worry, I'll explain later. So you guys made this game that's, that's really cool. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we've actually been working on this since we were kids. You know, it's a funny story. Uh, it was so great and we were on a program with us together. been playing ever since. Aha! <laughs> the Realm Lord rolls a stunning eight and is now leading the charge through the cave of evil Doc Despair. <laughs> oh, Lord, you are magnificent. How do you do it? That's uh, quite simple, Randy. You know, it's all in the wrist. I've been practicing for years. Daily. Daily. Oh, Furiously. it's my turn. Look at that. Yes, Tina approaches the entrance of the cave. When another cave troll appears. Wait, oh. wait, what? Yes, it's all here in the book. Uh, moving on. The troll is now enraged because of his fallen comrade. Tina, do you try and defeat the beast? Or will you wait a turn and see if it wanders off? I'm going to sneak by it. Sneak, sneak? Yeah, his, his friend just fell, so he's obviously upset and he's not guarding the entryway. I'm sorry, what? Was that good? Tina the Elf Maiden successfully sneaks past the cave troll undetected. She is ahead six spaces and now leads the charge to the cave of evil, Dark Despair. In addition, she collects a rune stone and a horn of bravery. Oh look honey, I got a rune stone and a horn of something. God, this game is so fun. Let's do this! Huzzah! We are now all in the cave of evil dark despair. We travel by torchlit tunnel until we approach two diverging tunnels. A soft yellow glow illuminates one, while the other is dark and 
mysterious. I am freaking out, guys. Have no fear, men. Your realm lord will guide you safely through this forsaken cave. Follow me! Wait, why are we going down this tunnel? It's dark and clearly the scarier path to go down. Exactly. Tina, you're falling right into the cave's trap, okay? This is clearly the more dangerous path. So naturally, people would want to avoid it and take the golden path. But that's what the cave wants you to think. So clearly, you must do the opposite. <laughs> yeah, I'm still going to go down this golden tunnel. So if any of you want to come with, you're welcome to join. Well, I'm coming with you. Ha! Man, did you hear that? Whips like a castrated mule! <laughs> Sticking past that cave troll is pretty dope. I'm coming with. Led by your nether regions, no doubt. You disgust me. Randy, what do you think you're doing? I'm, I'm sorry, Realm Lord, for Howard is right. She is really good at this, and... Silence! I'm sick when I do look upon thee. Be gone, Judas. Tim and I will follow the path alone, and glory will be ours in the kingdom of... Oh, for the love of God. Fine, I'll go alone, okay? And glory will be mine, and mine alone, and you'll rue the day that you cross the realm, Lord! Mark my words. I will have eternal glory! We made it, guys. Yeah, Tina, that was awesome. We've never had a quest go that smooth. It was a group effort, guys. Guys, where's Realm Lord? No! Oh my god, no! Please! Oh, no, no, no. oh not death! No! <laughs> Realm Lord fails next to the cave. <sighs> Realm Lord fails next to the cave. Realm Lord exits the cave and falls upon his knees. He's covered in leeches, goblin bite wounds, and acid burns. He's also missing his right foot. It was sacrificed to the goblin gods. Looking up to the heavens, he now begs for death. Another double sixes! You are unstoppable! <laughs> Tina the Elf Maiden leads the group up the silver stairs of Arangul to the throne of legends. She takes a seat upon the throne and the curse over all the realm is lifted. Call me Khaleesi. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> this is so fun. Did I win the whole game? Did you win? Yes, you won, okay? But you wouldn't know that because you don't know crap about this game. Is there no end to your stupidity? Come on, Lester. Tina's just enjoying the game. His name's Lester. <laughs> Sorry. That's it. That's it. I'm out. I can't play with this noob. Noob? Loser. But I won. I don't give a fat dwarf's ass, okay? You're a disgrace to the realm. What's a runestone? What's a necro summons? What's a mithril blade? If you don't know, you can just get out! <laughs> Tina, uh, Lester, look what you've done. <laughs> I should have just left. Are you guys have your own thing happening? What? I'm sorry. What? No, 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 no. That's just Lester. He takes this game really seriously. All the guys love you. They do. Yeah, he's right, Tina. You are awesome. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Yes. Tina, stay, please. Okay, is he masturbating? No, Tina. He's not masturbating, okay? I know he might seem weird to you, but he's one of us. We've all known each other for a long time, and we accept each other for good and for bad, like brothers. 
and we haven't been great at making new friends, and so I might have been a little harsh earlier. A little. Okay, I acted like a barbarian, but this is new. You are new, and new can be scary. Um, and with that said, I just want to say that I'm. I just, I just feel. I know. Thank you, Realm Lord. <laughs> it was my pleasure, noble elf maiden L'Oreal. <laughs> <laughs> The night is still young. Do we have time for one more quest? Huzzah. Huzzah. Huzzah! 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 Can we please just start the game already? Let us quest! Back to the bog. <laughs> Everybody, replace your rune stones. We're starting over again. Okay. Elf Maiden L'Oreal is atop the magical perch of Karasim. 